So I've made some progress here. Uh, I'm kind of concentrating on this uh, switch here. So the um, stir, chip, stir step generator goes into an amplifier that uh, can invert or non-invert. So we've, we've added that. Um, so the other next thing is to add the current. So this is stepping voltages. We want to step current. So there's some resistors that change the voltage into a current. And the steps are half volt steps. And so these are uh, half a volt times these things are different currents. So 10 microamps up to 2 milliamps. And it goes from uh, 51K to 100 ohms. Um, and they go by 10, 5, 2, 1, 10, 5, 2, 1, 10, 5, 2, 1. All right. So what did I do? I used a little board that I've already built. I like to reuse things that I've built, assuming I'll use them in the future. And it's, it's really nice when I get an opportunity to use things that I predict the future of. <laughs> so these are a little, um, is that close enough? All right, that's better. So these are just little uh, surface mount resistors. And they all are common on one side and they go to pads on the other side. So they're, they're like a do-it-yourself uh, SIP uh, resistor pack. But you can put different values in. So uh, what I've done is I've put in uh, uh, 100K, 50K, 20K, 10K. So 5, 4, uh, 10, 5, 2, 1, 10, 5, 2, 1, all the way down. All right. And I've wired it into the... Uh, uh, one of the switches here, it's the big main switch. I've wired, wired it up to that uh, rotary switch. Uh, so that, that worked out good. Okay, so I've wired it to this big switch here. Okay. And uh, so this is the lowest current. And to the highest current, there's 10 steps. So uh, let's measure the resistance that we get off of this thing. So there we go. All right, here we are on the highest step or the lowest current, 100K, 50K, 20, 10K, uh, 4.5K, 2.3K, 1K, 4.470 ohms, 220 ohms, 100 ohms. So it goes from 100 ohms to 100K ohms, 125, 125, 125, 125 yeah, that kind of thing. One, two, five, one, two, five, one, two, five. Yeah. And so uh, the values that I used are just the values that I had in surface mount. And I seem to have enough of them to cover all the ranges. And I'll just figure out what those ranges actually are. And then I make a little dial for this saying how many microamps or milliamps per step it is. And that'll be good enough for what I'm doing. Doesn't have to be exact. Um, and so uh, I think I think I want to use this location here to do the uh, volts, the collector collector volts. So this will be that, and the collector volts will go here. Maybe I could put the collector volts here. I don't know. This is a funny funny switch. Um, right now it's hooked up to a bunch of 10k resistors. So you have a uh, a whole resistor divider, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Um, so that might be interesting. I'll see if I can't repurpose that. But um, and then I thought it might be nice to have the uh, meter read the collector voltage, the max collector voltage. So as you turn the knob, maybe that's a better place. If you, once you turn the knob, then the meter will go up and you'll measure um, from zero to, you know, zero to make that 100 volts or something, zero to, zero to 60 volts and and have it come down. So, so 10, 20, 30, yeah, that'll be good. Uh, make this a, a voltmeter for the collector voltage.